Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add custom cars to your 5M server. Uh, for this tutorial we're going to be using gta5-mods.com. You can see it's right here, www.gta5-mods.com. Um, I will leave the link in the description so you can easily access this. Uh, for this tutorial we're going to be using this car. So once you go into gta5mods.com you're going to go to vehicles, you're going to find whatever car you want to add. Um, you want to look for cars that are add-ons, slash replace, or just add-ons. Um, don't get ones that are for, if you're looking to put these in your server, don't put, don't look up ones for V menu and um, menu, uh, anything like that, single player, try, not, try to avoid those. You want to get the ones that say add-on or replace. So you'll click download. I already know this one works. Some of these work, some of them don't work. You have to kind of base to base, you know, they, they're hit or miss sometimes, depends on who makes them. I already have this downloaded, but I'm going to show you how to do it, the step by step to add it into your server the correct way. And then I'm going to show you how to make it ownable by you and or your players. Okay. So once you've downloaded, you can actually close this out. It'll bring you up a folder like this with whatever car is in there. Um, some of them will already be ready, 5M ready. If they're 5M ready, they'll take a little bit less time to do. Um, for this one, it is not 5M ready. So what you want to do is you want to open up a program. You want to go find this program on Google. Uh, it's free. It's called OpenIV. You want to install this, and then it'll ask you for your directory for your GTA 5 folder. I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials out there to show you how to get OpenIV. I'm not going to show you in this one detailed. Um, but I can leave a link in the description to another tutorial for you guys. So once you've installed OpenIV, you want to click on Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows. So you'll click that. It'll do this. It'll open up and start up. It'll pull all your Grand Theft Auto files. This is just a way to extract some of these DLC RPF files. So once you've gotten, if you got a car that's like this, you're going to just drag it to this open area right here in OpenIV. Just in this little spot right here, you don't need to put it in here, no in folders, just right in this little area. And once you do that, it's going to be like this. You're going to get a data folder, x64 folder. These are going to have your cars and then your meta files in them. So what you want to do, you go to your desktop or anywhere, just anywhere you feel comfortable, wherever you're going to remember it's at, and create a new folder. Leave it new folder for now. What I like to do for my server, I'll go here, let me come back. I'll click x64, vehicles RPF, and then ignore this, you don't want these, um, don't worry about those. Just get the YTD, the high y YFT, and then the YFT, just these. So you want to open up this, you want to make a new folder inside of this folder, and you're going to name it stream. Okay, so this looks a little weird. I'm not sure why mine looks like this. There we go, details. So it'll look like this normally. Okay, so you're going to create a stream folder. Um, you're going to drag, drag these three files like this into your stream folder. And then once you see it, they'll be in there. This is what I'm going to name my folder just to make it easier so I can remember my spawn code. This is how I do it. You guys don't have to. Uh, this is how I do it, though. So I'm going to end up naming the folder XOR. Uh, I think this is like the Exorcist, Camaro, something like that. So I'm going to name it XOR. That's what the folder is going to be called. But for now, we're going to go back. Um, you don't need these data folders. These just have language language things in them. You don't need them. Uh, you want to go back to your data. And you want to copy all of this. But you don't want to put it in your stream. The stream is only for the car, uh, for the car textures. You want to go back one, and where it says stream, you want to take these, and you're going to put it right below it. These are going to be your meta folder or your meta files, um, your handling, uh, and so on, stuff like that that you know goes with the car. Uh, you're going to make sure. I would make sure that just as a you know precaution, and just so you don't wonder why something's not working, I always right click here. Uh, edit with notepad or open with whatever you can view this with 
And you want to make sure that this one, two, three, four, these first four and the vehicles matter. You want to make sure all those are the same. This doesn't matter if it's capitalized, but for my liking, I'll lowercase it just to make it all match. This is going to be your spawn code. This is what your car name is going to be. So you're going to save that. You're going to close it back out. And assuming that these are all the same, um, these, you don't have to worry about these too much usually. I would just mainly worry about this one. So you're going to have your stream folder with your YFT, YTD, and then your high YFT. Then you're going to have, outside of that stream folder, you're going to have just your stream folder. And then you're going to have your metas, and you're going to need one more thing, which is going to be a resource Lua. Now I like to use an existing resource Lua that I know is going to work. So I go to one of my other cards. Um, I will leave this in a Google Drive link for you guys to download absolutely free. If you guys want to use this, you can use this for any car. This can be a resource loader that you use for every car that you add on, as I have done the same for my server. And you can see in my main server, I have all of these cars. All of these cars work for me. And I've used the same exact resource Lua for every single one of these. And they all work perfectly fine. Um, mine are named a little different because I like to have mine organized, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to find that. Let me find this that I'm going to link. I will say, we'll just click this one. We're going to bring this resource folder out, or resource Lua out, my bad. And then it's going to be over here. And I'm going to drag and drop that into my folder as well. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be stream all of your meta files and it's going to have a resource Lua and then you're going to name it to whatever you want to name it I'm going to name mine XOR because it matches the spawn code and once you're done with this you can close all this out now this is your fully working car I'll show you that I already have this in my server and I won't need to add it again but for the tutorial I will show you exactly what you would do so, in your main folder, your resources folder, th this might not look the same for you, it depends on how you're hosted, if you're local hosted or not, but either way it's all the same when it comes down to it. You go to your resources, I have a separate folder for my imports. Um, this one was called EXOR, so I'll scroll down to the E's. And as you can see, it's right here, EXOR. Now, what you want to do before you start up your server and try to spawn this car in, what you want to do is you want to go to your QB Core. There we go, QB Core folder. You want to go to Shared. And then you want to go to the vehicle. You want to right click that, open it. And I have a lot of cars in here, so it's going to be a pretty big list. But what you will do, you can use any of these, any of these base cars right here if you wish to. Um, mine, this is how I set it up. I will let you guys look at this for a minute. You guys can copy this if you need to. Um, you can do whatever you need to do, however, to copy this to make it work. What I do is I will highlight the last one. I'll do Shift Enter. It'll go directly below it. And then Control V. That'll paste it. And then for the car spawn code is going to be EXOR because that's what we named it in the vehicle's meta. And you want to do that for that one. The line below it, this one, the model, and then you want to go to the hash, X EXOR. So you want to have it for the main one, the name, the model, and the hash. And then just make sure you don't mess any of this up. Don't add a, another character. You won't have it. You'll have a black screen. You will black screen if you mess any of this up because it is in the QB Core folder. You'll get a save. Um, this is actually a car that somebody wanted in my server. So I actually just put this in earlier. Now I'm making it able to be garaged and ownable. So this is how you do this. This is exactly what you'll have to do every time to make it garageable and be able to so they can park it, pull it out, etc. So then you can close your folder that you put all your resources in. I don't need this anymore because I already told you I had it. I will open up my 5M.
And I did not put this in my affinity test. I actually put this in my main folder or my main server, which is right here. Um, we'll load into this right now. Go ahead and connect to it. Okay, and as you can see, I'm loading into my server. I've turned it down just so we don't get um, in trouble on YouTube. You know how they are with music. Um, on here, you won't get any trouble for putting music on your server, obviously, but on YouTube, you will. So that's why I've muted it right now. Right now, it's just loading up all my resources. And that's going to load me in to my server. And then I'm going to get on here. Now, when you add a car, let me make it daytime here so we can actually see. Okay, so let me just go down here. Oh. Alright, we're gonna poof down here so we don't kill ourselves. Okay, um, every time you put a car in, you will want to make sure you put it in the list of vehicles for the vehicles Lua, so you can actually own the car. If you don't want to own the car, you can just keep it in the server without adding it to the vehicles Lua, and then you can just spawn it if you want to with the spawn code. Um, I have people that want them in their valets, on their phone, in their garages, so I had to put them in there so people can pull them back out without me having to get them to them again. So you will do, you can do a slash car and then space and then whatever the spawn code for the car is, which mine is EXOR. I have already put this in here so I know it works. And as you can see, this is the car. So as you can see, the car works, it has sound. Um, you can adjust handling and everything else as you need to. I will not be going over that in this tutorial, um, but there are plenty of tutorials on how to adjust handling, how to add custom liveries and such, and so on and so forth to your cars. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you guys find this useful. If you guys have any questions, you guys can leave a comment in the section below. Uh, subscribe if you guys want to see more tutorials like this and helpful tips on your 5M server. And hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.